Acts 10 verses 34 to 48, Peter at Cornelius house. We know the background that we were discussing about last two videos that Cornelius was a God devoted, God fearing and um, help to poor, helping to poor and also prayed regularly. Those kind of good qualities go Bible comment about Cornelius and he got a vision from angel to call Simon Peter and to get the, the, uh, the word from what God wanted to talk through him. Then Peter came to that place and to, with a reverence Cornelius kneeled and also then Peter said, I'm not God, I'm just a human, so don't need to do that. But that is to show the respect, even though Cornelius was a centurion, and he was a boss of 100 people, but still he show a reverence and respect to the Peter and the man of God. Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how to, because then Peter start to talk. When the people call us, they will expect us to talk to them what God wants to talk to them. Then Peter began to speak. Now, I now realize how true it is God does not show any partiality, but accept from every nation which the one who fear him and does what is right. And message God sent to the people of Israel, announced the God good news to peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. You know what is happening through the province province of Judea begins to Galilee after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of devil because God was with him. We are witness of everything he did in this country of the Jewish and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a cross. But God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to the sea. He was not seen by all people, but by witness whom God had already chosen, by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach the people and to testify that he is the one who a God appointed us to judge the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receive forgiveness of sin through his name. While Peter was still speaking this word, the Holy Spirit came on all who heard the message. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astonished that the gifts of Holy Spirit had been poured out even to the Gentile. For they heard them speaking in tongue and praising God. Then Peter said, Surely no one can stand in the way of their being baptized with water. They had received the Holy Spirit just as we. So we ordered that we they baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked Peter to stay with them for a few days. So what if others call us unto their eagerly in a hunger they just want to hear from us? What they want to hear, that we are criticizing other pastors, other church leaders, other bishops, or other pope, uh, pope or anyone. No, it's like not, uh, they are not, they don't want our criticism against or the, our vision about others. They were, people want what God wants to talk to them straight away. We are not ready to, to criticize. We are not, that's not the, our calling because people, we have busy with to do something for God and he, not something, it's a sharp and accurate things for God. And when we start, the first thing, I now realize that God is so generous. That's the one of the things I would say that to you that God, I thought that God is only for the good people. God is uh, genuine and he is show his love only the people who is in reverence. But no, so God is um, showing the love anyone who has the fear of God and it doesn't matter you are a gentile or anyone you God will give and the other thing is Jesus Christ came to this earth how God anointed Jesus of all Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power and he where we were witness of everything he did in the country of the Jewish and Jerusalem they killed him by hanging him on a cross 
but God raised him from the death and third day and caused him to sin. How was not seen all by all the people, but by witness whom God has already chosen by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He command us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one whom God appointed us judge of the people at the death. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believe in him receive the forgiveness of sin through his name. That's our testimony. That's our preach. Nothing else that under the heaven, above the earth, there is no other name for salvation. Every tongue say and every bow will shall bow down. Every knee shall bow down and confess. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ will be the, is the Lord. May God bless you. Amen.